What's good, y'all? I knew y'all was gonna want me to talk about it, so I'm here, man. Song reviews, you know, um, Lil Wayne, Nicki Minaj, and Tiger. So let's just start with Tiger, man. Make it work. Um, I heard the song, you know. Of course, they sent it to Drake. This where he takes a shot at uh, Drake in the song from a line that Drake said in Nicki Minaj song featuring Chris Brown and Lil Wayne called "Only." And Lil Wayne dropped off the song "The Locks" today. I mean, with the locks, my bad. Entitled Gotti. That's dope as shit, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the locks start the record off. Lil Wayne comes through there, punchline at the punchline, metaphors. That's the Wayne that we all love and we all care about, you know, and I'm hoping that's what we get on C5. So that song is incredible. The production, you know, it kind of got that rock style to it, and I definitely fuck with that record. Now, the Nicki Minaj featuring Drake, Chris Brown, and Lil Wayne record only. Chris Brown on the hook, I think the hook is okay. Each verse play off each other. Nikki talks about if she fuck Wayne and Drake, blah, 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 blah. You know, then she talks about the rap bitches, the rap industry. Then Drake comes in and plays off what Nikki said. And then, of course, Lil Wayne plays off what Nikki and Drake said. So I think it's a great song. You know, the production is okay. The song is not his best song they could have did, but I understand the wittiness of it, and I thought that was straight. As far as Tiger make it work, I mean, that song was cool. The beat was good. His flow was crazy. Uh, the lyrics was kind of harsh, you know, he was spazzing in that, you know, the hook was cool or whatever. He takes, like I said, take a shot at Drake from the line where Drake said in the uh, only record where he don't mind plus size women, you know, as long as they face right or some shit. Um, and also Tiger, the 40 mil record, that shit was crazy. That's the joint that Kanye produced. I think the, the flow was crazy. He spazzed on that. I like his lyrics. Um, the hook was good. I think Tiger definitely, you know, has a string of songs where he should drop the album. Um, they should let him drop it, you know, with uh, Hookah, 40 Mil, the new song Make It Work. I think he got, you know, some hits under his belt. But at the end of the day, like Birdman said, either you with us or you ain't, you know what I mean? But these songs are straight, you know, of course, we know now that Lil Wayne is doing the, the uh, drop, excuse me, um, C5, December 9th, Nicki album drops December 15th, so in replace of November uh, 24th, you're gonna get the Rich Gang Volume 2 album, which, I mean, that's cool. The first one was good, and I think that's gonna be great because of the mixtape they just put out, so I definitely wanna see what they gonna do with that, but I still feel like Wayne doing one album, but in two different sections is weird. Nicki pushing her album back to December, I mean, it, it can be a good look. I mean, she has had an album come out in December, but she definitely gonna have to come with some stronger records to, you know, promote the record and push the record. Cause just based off a of fan base, you can't really expect it to sell. Cause you gotta look at it. These are all platinum artists. You know, neither Drake, Lil Wayne, or Nicki got gold albums. You know, other than you know with the collective series. You feel me? Like Lil Wayne, um, I'm not a human being, and things of that nature. Albums went gold, Young Money album. But far as the Carter series, it's all platinum. Nicki album been platinum. Drake platinum. So at the end of the day. I'm just hoping that they can collectively come together and do some great work. And we still have no date or even know anything about Drake View from the Six. It's about Toronto, of course, the area code, you know what I mean, for people that don't know that. And I don't know, man. YMCMB could take over 2015 if they come back collectively, but then again, uh, we don't know. Then you got little Chucky saying that he was molested by Birdman. I don't know where the fuck that came from, but... Who the fuck knows? That's just crazy. I know it don't got nothing to do with a song, but I'm just, you know, since we all talking YMCMB. But yeah, man, but out of everybody's song, Lil Wayne has the hardest song. That came out of nowhere. I still say fuck you for that whack-ass PSA. Um, Nicki definitely still throwing shots at female artists. I think that really went at Nick, uh, Iggy Azalea and Lil Kim. And Drake, you know what I mean? He always been infatuated with Nicki, so what can we say? You know, even though now that Nicki broke up with her boyfriend, will Drake get a shot? We don't know. And Tiger just doing him, man. You know, hopefully he can get his situation straight and be able to put out that album at least in 2015, you know, and they can come together and sit down at the table and talk about, you know, the issues because other than YMCMB, it ain't that many collective groups left. I mean, you got Maybach, Good Music. And, you know, it's going to be a strong year, you know, ending the year. And then 2015, you're going to have a lot of new artists dropping records. So you still want to be established as one of the brands that's popping. That's just my personal opinion. But these songs is good, man. You know, um, I can see, see them playing, you know, in my phone. Uh, the Nicki song definitely got to grow on me a little bit. Um, Lil Wayne song, that shit is dope. I don't get why he put the locks on it because obviously he didn't need them for shit because... 
you totally forget about they was even on the record once you hear Wayne verse. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Song reviews, YMCMB, Takeover, Lil, Lil Wayne, Nicki Minaj, Tiger. Of course, I was going to talk about it. And I'm out of here, man. One.